Joining me today in the studio is Likud Knesset member Sharon Haskell to discuss the rise of anti-Semitism throughout the United States. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Thanks for inviting me. All right. So I, I understand that you just arrived back from a speaking tour of U.S. college campuses and to discuss anti-Semitism, this very issue. Now, why do you think anti-Semitism is becoming more and more prevalent throughout the United States? Well, I think there's a lot of um, anti-Israelis organizations that are actually using Israel as a front, but actually are attacking the Jewish community throughout the, the entire United States. So I've been to a few campuses like NYU and Columbia and Harvard and Brandeis, very, you know, uh, top schools, top universities. And you know what? I was absolutely shocked. Some of the students have told me stories, you know, that their freedom of speech is being uh, uh, taken away from them. They can't express themselves. They can't express their opinion. You know, in Passover, Students in Harvard, which is an Ivy League university, only the Jewish student received on their doors eviction notices. I don't know if you know what our eviction notices, yeah. but I mean, this is a racist thing to do just to target and attack Jewish students on campus. But do you know why we're seeing this rise? Is there any indication as to why there is this rise? Is it in any way um, related to the election of Donald Trump? So some people have tried to imply that, but I really don't think so. I mean, Racism, anti-Semitism is something that grew through years, uh, through, uh, you know, educating your kids in that kind of way, you know, being brainwashed by different TVs, by certain things. It takes years to become like that. And so, you know, when someone comes and tells me that within the three months, suddenly this whole thing happened, I really don't take that. We are seeing, though, you know, a rise of nationalist sentiment taking place in the United States, and typically in the past when that has happened, Jews have suffered as a result. Is that something that we should be worrying about in connection to the anti-Semitism as a whole? Well, first of all, I think that the rise in anti-Semitism has happened throughout the entire world at the moment. I mean, we can see really bad cases in South America, in Europe, terrible cases of racism towards the Jewish community. Um, I think that there's a strong uh, you know, uh, uh, American community, Jewish community, uh, you know, supporters of, 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 of Israel or supporters of the Jewish community that actually try to fight it. And so you, I think that you see it less in the United States and, and in Canada rather than other countries like, for example, in Europe, in France, in well, Belgium. We're using these growing ultra-nationalist political parties. Now, here's my question for you. Uh, we're seeing a lot, you saw a lot of these young students who are very concerned about rising anti-Semitism. Do you think this is in any way affecting their relationship with the state of Israel and whether or not they feel comfortable even associating themselves with the state of Israel? So it creates two situations. One of them is students who are so hurt by it and some of them are so afraid to actually speak their mind, to say what they believe. I mean, when you look at Israel, Israel is part of a Jewish identity, whether you like it or not. This is part of our history. It's part of our culture. This is where all of our values and beliefs and everything have come from. And so as a Jew, you cannot separate really yourself from the state of Israel. But we're seeing that happen now, oftentimes in the United States. Absolutely. You see students who just want to assimilate, to be part of the society, to be part of campus. And, you know, with all this propaganda going around about Israel, they say, okay, well, I just want to be normal. I don't want to put myself in the middle of this, of this fight, you know. And so they try to alienate themselves from Israel. And that creates part of a, a problem in their identity as well. You know, how much am I Jewish? How much am I American? Right. You know, what is right? What is wrong? Just, you know, it, so it's created a big problem with, within themselves. Well, it seems like, you know, it's very, very necessary for more and more officials from Israel to travel to the United States and try to work with these communities. Uh, I think you're doing a good job so far, so thank you so much for coming Absolutely. In.